Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and the Union, issue number one. This is a king and black tie-in, and it is, in fact, actually a tie-in, unlike another book that had come out this week. Anyway, true tie-in. It was actually pretty good, but there was a cardinal sin that happened in here that took me right out of the book and made me not really that interested in reading the next one. But I might. But we'll see. I'll tell you what that is. After, <laughs> I'll tell you who made this book. So, for Queen and Country, The Union, The Britannia Project, Part 1, The Flag Game, that's a lot of title, <laughs> you know? Uh, Paul Grist is the writer, Andrea DeVito with Paul Grist on pencils, uh, Drew Garassi and Lebu Underwood with Paul Grist on inks. Paul is getting around on this one, baby. Nolan Woodard on colors and VCs Travis Lanham on colors. The cover artist is R.B. Silva and David Curiel. Whole lot of freaking uh, variant covers out there. Man, slow your butt down. Anyway, so we get introduced to three new barely heroes in this book. Uh, actually four, excuse me, four new heroes in this book that at least I'm not familiar with. And they they barely act like heroes, as I said. And then there's also uh, Union Jack, who is actually a favorite of mine. I was super happy when they made the Marvel Legends figure of him. I have it. <laughs> um, I was honestly thinking about buying a second one just to keep in the box because I love the character. Go back and look at a really old video of mine. I think it was in 2017, the Fan Expo Canada, where I found a guy wearing a Union Jack um, costume and I, I completely freaked out. I was like, oh my god, hey! Uh, it was fun times. It was a really crappy video. <laughs> I was first starting out. Anyway, I think I had 12 subscribers when I did that video. <laughs> oh, God, it was terrible. Uh, all that being what it is, the book was floundering for me the whole time. Like, it wasn't that interesting. It started out with literally with a game of, you know, plant the flag. It just, it wasn't really that good. And then suddenly a moment happened, and I'm like, oh, is this what I think it is? And then I turned the page, and not only was it what I thought it was, and I think you guys will figure it out also when you're reading it, but it genuinely had me freaked out. I was like, holy crap! I mean, the art in this, everything about this was just amazing! And I'm like, whoa! But then I read what was on the book, and the characters were making jokes. Cardinal Sin. Like, you actually did something that finally caught my attention. Got it? So, like, all of a sudden, here was emotion. It doesn't matter what emotion you're going to get from someone. You got emotion in this reader. And then you did the exact opposite with the words. And made me just realize, like, this is not a threat. And this is stupid. It's like... Being afraid of the wind and then learning what wind actually is. And it has absolutely nothing to do with ghosts and ghoulies, you know? This was a huge letdown. And it was literally one stupid word bubble. And then everything that followed afterwards. One stupid word bubble just made me pretty much put down whatever I was eating. You know, this book. And just saying, yeah, no, this was not good. I did read it to the end. There there actually were some stakes, I guess, because it doesn't seem like this is something like, no, I, I, I don't think that this was what it looked like. It looked like somebody dies in this, but I don't think this person's actually dead. Or at least maybe they come back. I don't know who this character is. That's the problem. I don't know who any of these characters are except for Union Jack. And I'm just, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be reading the next issue. What they did was just so pitiful. You actually have a, an emotional moment, and then you make a joke about it on the same page. Ah, horrible. Horrible way to introduce a threat, so to speak, in a comic book, and, and then let us go with it. Um, and it alone didn't help that the heroes, quote, 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 heroes, weren't really heroes, were they? disappointing. Anyway, guys, that's my review. Like the video, watch an ad. Go to comicbookuni.com. Talk to you later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.